Welcome back guys that is Koshka Ahmed and here we will learn about the DNA repair and that is Gene Island School here we will learn about the basic genetic engineering biotechnology and molecular biology so friends in my previous session I have teach you what is DNA repair and some type of DNA repair uh, existence like like uh, base existon repair, nucleated existon repair and uh, elaborated about the description of the base existon repair some other repairs also have uh, have uh, in my next lesson I will uh, teach you about the mismatch repair or and uh, life dependent repair etc but today today we will learn about the nucleotide excision repair yes friends that is nucleotide excision repair so first we have to know what is the nucleotide excision repair uh, compromising with the base excision repair you can see that in the base excision repair i can use a figure for you and uh, that is what is the nucleotide excision repair in the base excision repair the two base like adenine and thymine there was a abnormality among among adenine and thymine that means here it was adenine but here it was cytosine or guanine so there was the base excision repair but in the nucleotide excision repair the base among the nucleotide sequence are also that is also an ab abnormality but but that that forms a dimer that means if you think there is a sorry if you think there is a, a t thymine and the next the right side there is another t that is thymine two times thymines are bonded among them normally we know that thymine will bonded with thymine is bonded with adenine from upper layer upper strength to lower strength but in the formation of for the effect of uv light dimer forms among the thymine that means thymine dimer has formed when thymine bind with another thymine with the right side or a thymine uh, a thymine in the left side would bind with another thymine with the right side not the up and down but when on the side to side thymine are binded so that is really a great problem for the nucleotide for the dna and for the protein production that is absolutely a mutation that can produce abnormal protein so that's the basic difference between the base excision repair and nucleotide excision repair in the base excision repair there is the repair of methylated deaminated oxidized bases and epicytes in my previous session you will uh, can you can understand everything about the epicytes or about the deamination methylation etc but today we will learn about the nucleotide excision repair so how nucleotide excision repairs are so in the definition or the short description is that repair of large edit of distortion in the double helix structure of dna that means the pyrimidine dimer i repeat this this is the main problem of pyrimidine dimer thymine is we know that thymine is a pyrimidine when thymine is attached with the thymine among the single strand among the same strand that is the thymine dimer so now we will go to the main process how nucleotide excision repair occurs that is a suppose that is a normal dna portion or normal nucleotide sequence but when we it is uv light when this nucleotide sequence or this dna get a uv radiation so there is a thymine dimer are formed here so this is not now a normal dna this is an abnormal dna there is distortion that happens here so 
nucleotide addition repair is a very much important process that used to correct many different types of DNA chain damage, including the UV lights. So, here the damage happens. So, we have to now repair the damage. For repairing the damage, a set of protein called UBAA, U, sorry, UBRA, UBRB, and UBRC, UBRD. That that a set of protein UBRA, UBRB, C, and D. So what is UBR? UBR is the ultraviolet light repair. I repeat, UBR is ultraviolet light repair. So for the first step, the protein trimer. Here you see that uh, protein trimers are formed A, A, and B. Every one is UBR. So A, U, UBR, UBR, and UBR. A, A, B. A trimer is formed, and this trimer goes through the nucleotide. From from this portion to this portion, this is go through the nucleotide and detect the damages. I repeat, this trimer go through the nucleotide sequence and detect the damages when it found a damage and you see that that is a damage in this portion so ubrb attached to the damage and ubra to ubra are spliced out or releases only ubrb are binded with the damaged portion So in the next step, here you see that UBRB is binded. Now UBRC bind to the site. UBRC bind to the site and next to cars. UBRC like that. That bind it with B and make cut the whole portion of the nucleotide. This whole portion from here to from here. That, that is the full UBRC. That is bind with B and make a cut from the damage site total damage site are cut by ubc so now as the, it is cut it out so there is a obviously a gap is found and you see that now ubrd bind to site and secret the damage and ubrd Bind to the so this gap prison are formed by the helicase enzyme that is formed by UBRD. So cut it by C and that is spliced out that is removed by UBRD because UBRD carries the enzyme helicase and helicase cut it out the portion. So now there is a gap. We know the DNA polymerase fills the gaps. DNA polymerase fills the gap, and we know that when a gap is found, there is obviously a neat stent are found in the sequence when that is formed. So for the ligation, when that is filled, that then there are uh, two nicks are found in this portion. So the nicks are added by the DNA ligase enzyme. So total now is okay. We got proper strength by the DNA polymerase and the uh, gaps are added by the DNA ligase. So now the, that's the final strength and you see that the strength is fully okay with proper nucleotide and thymine dimer are deleted and that is now can produce the proper protein for our function. That is all about the nucleotide based addition repair. I will review in a short. Here is the DNA that is a dimer formed, thymine dimer. There is a three protein that go through over the nucleotide, and the B is attached to the damaged site, and the next. 
C is UVRC bind with B and cut that that portion and UVD remove that portion by the helicase and DNA polymerase fill the gap and DNA ligase DNA ligase attach the nix and finally we got a proper nucleotide sequence so friends I hope everybody now easily can uh, understand what is the base like this uh, sorry nucleotide addition repair if you like my videos if you think that you you have learned uh, something you have learned a word please subscribe my channel share with your friends and comment if I have any problems if I have any fault your comment is very much present to me and I will be present thanks friend keep watching with the new lessons thanks everyone